Greg some land. It's been a while since I said that. Yeah, we had a long off season, and now it's time to get back into making our predictions for the NASCAR races. This week we got a triple header with the Truck Series, the Xfinity Series, and of course the Cup Series going to be showcasing what those next gen cars can do on the super speedway of Daytona, the most famous racetrack in America. I don't know if that's But before we get into that, true, let's talk that. about a little bit about LA Coliseum. Nobody picked the winner for for that. Nobody saw it. Joey Logano's going to rule that. So, uh, no winners. The closest someone came was with Kyle Larson. He finished like fifth or sixth somewhere in there. So, uh, you know, it's okay. We'll get warmed up. Still early in the My season. My driver didn't even make it to the class. <laughs> yeah, so every week we're going to kind of post the winners uh, of the past week up here so be sure to get some picks in and play along. It's when none of you pick the winner makes my life easier because I don't have to do anything for editing. <laughs> pick losers as well. He, he keeps making them do I know. work. Uh, got to get him motivated. Yeah, motivate me everybody. Pick the winners. Come on, let's pick the winners, y'all. <laughs> so we'll make Adam work a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got the truck series, the Camping World Truck Series. We're going to be racing, what, Friday night? It's going to be awesome to see those trucks under the lights. It's and always great to see the trucks. I mean, I don't know what it is about the trucks. They just bring a, a, a great race and just fun to watch. Yeah, a lot of carnage out there. so. Who will be in victory lane for the first time this season for the truck series? Uh, he he ran strong last year. I believe I'll go ahead and throw it out there uh, right now. I think John Hunter Nemechek is going to do well. But he's going to get the first one. And he's going to Nemechek? He's going to walk at Nemechek on the first uh, race and get locked in for the year. All right. So, uh, solid pick. Emily? <laughs> I'm picking Zane Smith. Zane Smith, a new team. You know, last year he got GMS in the Final Four, almost won the championship. And then this year he'll be trying to win the championship for uh, Front Row Motorsports in the 38. So, what better way to start off the year with a new team with a win? And I'm not picking Jordan Anderson. Yeah, Emily picked Jordan Anderson two years in a row for Daytona. He finished second both times, so maybe this year, since Emily's not picking him, he might win. Maybe Emily was what was keeping him from victory lane. See if he can get another top five. And as for me, I went into the entry list. I'm like, who do I pick? You know, there's a lot, a lot of people that I wanted to pick. So uh, I will go with somebody I think a lot of you would like to see back in victory lane. He's been in victory lane for the truck series a couple times. But I'm picking Parker Kligerman in the 75 and we'll get it done. It's not funny. He's a good driver in trucks. Yeah, he was pretty decent there. Uh, another one to watch. And we got, Ma we got Matt DiBenedetto in this race. He's running on the trucks some this year in the 25 truck. So, on oh, him, see what he can do. I, I was thinking about picking him, but I wasn't sure about. Okay, can we go to the? About that. Can we get? So, uh, can we go to the best? Anybody can win. Series. So, well, we're trying to give off more stats in here. Emily is. Can we get on with it? Can I go to the best series? <laughs> all right. It's uh. All right. So uh, Emily wants to skip the Xfinity series. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're purple. So now. Uh, it's purple this year. So. Or purple. purple. That's purple on. Oh. Alright, the Xfinity series. Oh, you wanna know talk about the Xfinity series? Yeah. yeah. Man, a lot of drivers change around and and I mean it's just like I just don't know who to pick this year. But I as always when I go to uh the Daytona and Talladega, I usually pick the eleven car. And Daniel Hemert's going to be in that car, so he got his first win in the championship in one, one day, one race. Maybe get a so, second uh, win. I mean, he got that monkey year. off his back, so he's going to come out strong and watch out for him. All right. 
All right, Emily uh, is picking. Can y'all guess who she's <laughs> going to pick? Okay, um, I'm picking Noah Gregson. Wow, what a shocker! Who knew? Why? Because he's the best driver there is. And he burned yeah. up the track at Daytona a couple years ago. So. And he's driving part time in Cup this year. Yeah, he's going to be uh, doing the. At least trying to qualify into the Daytona 500, so uh, he'll have some extra practice this weekend for some super speedway stuff. So that's uh, some reasons why you should pick Noah Gregson. Follow the Emily train. Uh, so I'm going to agree with Emily's team here. Uh, I'm going to pick someone who was very good last year in the Xfinity Series with two wins. Uh, one of them, he was replacing Michael Annette. He had an injury. Just say his name. I'm trying to hype him up here. But Josh Berry, he's going to come out swinging in that number eight car. And I think, you know, good chemistry there with Josh Berry and Junior Motorsports. And they're going to do very well this year. Yeah, it's great to see the 18 do great again. I mean, they had some good runs last year. Like, Make wow. the eight great again. <laughs> Make the eight great. Let's get that going. So, uh, yes, can't wait to see the Xfinity Series race and see all the new faces. Can we get that started? The great eight. That sounds, that'd be a cool hashtag for Josh Berry or Tyler Reddick. Whoever wants to use it, it's out there. We're giving it to you. All right. And now. Okay. What you've all been waiting for. We've been waiting what on. you've all been waiting for. The Cup Series. The Cup Series. Wow. Got the new cars going. Uh, I know some people, some people don't like the, where the numbers are. I mean, I, it's kind of growing on me. I mean, some cars look really good. Uh, Cars sound great. I don't know how they're going to do it Daytona here, and we'll see. And man, I can't wait for the duels to start. I mean, I thought qualifying was done started, but I mean, by this time, the duels are done, right? Yeah. Yeah, it used to be they had the duels and qualifying. So we're, we're recording this before the duels, so it's kind of hard to. So, yeah, when you're seeing this, the duels already happened, and you already saw our uh, episode on 100,000 cameras and may or may not have saw us so but if not check that was it out. how noah did <laughs> did noah make the daytona 500 i bet he did good it's just that some idiot wrecked him last year <laughs> so so i think tyler red will be good this year but i'm not picking for this race yet <laughs> really? what was it why would, I why think you... tyler reddick will be very well, he's good about the, but i'm not picking he's him. talking about tyler okay Hall, just say so your I'll pick talk, right. but uh this driver did Really decent last year until he got wrecked at the very last lap, and uh, he's in a new car. So I'm picking the number two of Austin Cindric. Uh, that's gonna take me forever <laughs> to get used to. Make sure you don't put Brad's face. Yeah. <laughs> put Brad in there. Oh, sorry. And, and just and just, just a thought, just a thought, because see, just this past week was Penske Day was two twelve twenty two. So Can there I? he goes. Can I say something? I hate this though that there were some drivers that was hitting on Cindric's car because that was a pretty car. Yeah, come on, guys. Do better. Be better. Don't ruin that car. No. Yeah, that, that black and blue, man, that was a freight liner. Or this, what, East Saru, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that, <laughs> I can't say that name. I can't say it either. I just like, that's, that's the also awesome The pretty car. blue and black I mean, car. It's like, Reminds me of Tron or something. Yeah. Just, yeah, that's what he's going to be lighting fast through the field. Going to Victor Lane. All right, now Emily. Get a rookie in the I'm going to pick line. your lucky charm, um, Justin Haley. Wow. Yeah. Yes, every time I picked him, uh, wow. he won an Xfinity Series. Uh, we'll see if he can continue that for you. And Justin Haley does have a win at Daytona. We got one went back in 2019 and uh, had the rain delay stayed out got the win who knows Mike win the Daytona 500 yeah they call racing they teaming up this year man they, they really come out swinging you got a lot of cars 
in the field, I mean, it might team up on the whole field. And this time... And if you want to know, Hamrick's in the 16 car this weekend. You want to know? I was going to pick him. I was like, I just don't know. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> yep. But pick I, I picked the first penny, so I didn't want to pick him again for the cup. So. No, you're All right. As for me, my pick. <laughs> uh, so. So long we drag it out. <laughs> I like to create some drama, you know, some like atmosphere leading up to who it is. I can't do and that. And I'm like, ha, ah, Brad Keselowski. Yep, that's who it is. Brad Keselowski. New team. New car, new owner, himself the owner. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of things for him to learn throughout this season. It's not going to be the easiest season for him, but I think, hey, it'd be cool to see him in victory lane, first official race with the team, and hey, it'd just be awesome. He's never won a Daytona 500 before, a couple champions in the field hasn't, and you know, it'd be cool to see a champion etch that in onto their accolades he's got a good teammate chris booster he runs well at daytona so maybe that team up come to the field some other champions that have not won a daytona 500 that you might want to consider picking uh chase elliott came came second place last year was so close but yellow flag came out too soon for him kyle bush i mean that that's insane that he's never won a daytona 500 he just hasn't had the luck so those are some that you should consider Picking if Michael McDowell get lucky again and uh, squeak out a win here. And also Kyle Larson coming off his championship. Can he uh, continue his reign of terror on the Cup Series? And a lot of our subscribers are like, no, please. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a lot of people you can pick because you don't know how the next gen car is going to run. You don't know if it's going to bring some of these other guys closer to the field. Uh, could see Corey LaJoy take home the Daytona 500. Um, so we saw it to LA Coliseum, some of them had some transmission issues and stuff. I hope Daytona will uh, hold up a lot better. So we'll uh, see. Put some, some more, extra duct tape some more on it. questions <laughs> about that. So, uh, uh, yeah, so um, can't wait to see some more action on the track and uh, get back into the swing of fast picks. And it's just gonna be a lot yeah, of fun this year. Yeah, just think if some, some of these cars don't have parts so if they break down they might not be able to fix these cars and yeah so one thing in previous years the winning car stays in daytona in the museum they can't do that this year because they don't have enough cars <laughs> so, <laughs> that's just that's insane. Right. So you got to put your car in victory lane no <laughs> so they're going to use like one of the old test cars and just wrap what the car looked like put it in victory lane or in the museum so they're racing for second right here so they can keep their car uh, so that they get to keep the car and they just have to wrap a test car so um so it's just like a scan of all the confetti and stuff this is what it would have looked like <laughs> so if a toyota is just gonna go to the dealership and grab a toyota camry park it out there and put a wrap on it there it is yeah <laughs> so hope you enjoyed this video of our picks and predictions but now it's time for you to go head down in our comments below and write us who you think will win the trucks xfinity and cup series races this weekend and who knows you might get to see your name on the list of winners next week for auto club so uh get, get a shout out if you get a win and also we accumulate the points throughout all the season and could win a few prizes at the end of the year. So uh, a lot of a lot of fun races this year. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how the next gen uh, car does. Uh, so subscribe, and if you want to see more predictions, videos like this, and we will see you next time on Side Draft.